Flowers and plants are my favorite way to add the perfect finishing touch to any home. A house without any greenery could sometimes feel incomplete. That's why I'm so excited to show you guys a beautiful home tour we shot a few months ago that takes the concept of adding some greenery to a whole new level. Viewers often ask me about design ideas using plants. Well, I'm very excited about this home tour because it's all about creating elegant spaces with decorative accents found in nature. My name is Bianca Boy. I own Bianca Boy Design, a design firm here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I do residential and commercial design. This project was so special because I was challenged in many levels. The most fun part of the job was to get to design a biophilic design, incorporating the organic um, nature and elements from outdoor, indoor. We show you how to give your home a more organic and zen feel with nature-inspired decor elements on today's Soplo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. Today we explore this beautiful home with many accents of greenery. Adding a design feature like this to a home gives the property both a unique and organic personality. And I cannot wait to see more. Let's go inside and meet Bianca. This three-story, 6,200 square foot home has seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a powder room, and a rooftop terrace. Bianca created a luxurious sanctuary by bringing elements found in nature to the inside of the home. Bianca, welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Excited to have you with us today to showcase your client's beautiful home. And welcome to my project. Thank you for coming. When we first walk in this house, there is just beautiful natural elements everywhere. And tell us a little bit about the influence of nature in this project. My client was very drawn to nature and she wanted to make sure that we somehow bring that in. Um, what I would like to call the biophilic design, which is a term that is highly used in the industry at the moment. It's a design that promotes well-being, um, clarity of, of mindset, uh, it's reducing the stress level. So I wanted to make sure that with everything that I've used, I incorporate as many natural elements, organic elements from outdoors, indoors. In this living room, the way it's set up, we have a separate seating area behind us, and yes. then of course, we have another area as well here with more of the great room feel. Talk to us about the design of multiple seating areas in this home. It's important, especially for, for someone that loves to entertain, loves to have guests over, to have multiple areas where you can um, move around and rotate. And of course here enjoying beautiful views as well oh, in this absolutely. seated area. I mean, that we can't count that it's out. <laughs> so let's, let's walk up into this part of the room and want to talk a little bit about a lot of the rich textures. We have a wall covering here that's stunning, the chevron pattern. Talk to us about this choice because you paired it next to natural stone. We kept the same color scheme, off-whites and, and linen colors and neutrals, but because we layered them one side by side and we created two different patterns, they just married together so beautifully. You've added a wood element because we're talking about the nature vibe of the whole design. I was inspired by the Scandinavian design and they use that a lot where they have towers of logs as accents. It's the first time I've seen it here and I, I love it. it. It's like South Florida Lodge. You've really made it work. I know we have some more to see and I want to check out the dining room because this big great room has a whole other area down there. So let's go check that out. Bianca, this dining room is such a beautiful extension of the living room area. Talk to us about the light because this is so eye-catching here. I am in love with this piece. When I've designed it, I wanted to make sure that I incorporate the crystal. I looked at it and I said, this looks like raindrops. So Absolutely. it was such a beautiful inspiration, which raindrops is also something that you find in nature, yes. you know, the rain. So it just fits so suitable for it. Now you bought the crystal into your table decor as well. We incorporated in the vases that are holding the flowers and of course the, the brass that we find in the, in the glass and, and the tableware. So you've pretty much incorporated all the natural elements and brought it right down onto the table. And speaking of the table, this is a stunning dining room table. The edge of the table is live edge, so we add that additional raw factor to it. 
coming up on Soflo Home Project. The fusion of decor and nature expands into the outdoor areas. Tacron Auto with FHIA, and we're going to help this family get the bugs outside of their home by changing out these old jealousy style windows on today's Soflo Home Project. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're continuing our home tour with interior designer Bianca Boya. And we are in a beautiful home that has lots of natural and nature-like elements creating a zen and organic feel. Absolutely. The entertainment areas expand from the great room to the back of the home where we find a beautiful pool patio area surrounded by water. So Bianca, now we're in the outdoor patio and it's beautiful, it's a covered space, lots of greenery. Let's sit down and talk a little bit more about this space. Of course. So the first thing that I notice, and I, I think that we can get some great tips for our viewers, is this beautiful faux box wood that's cladding the entire exterior. It's a very friendly product. It's easy to apply or install. Um, it's uh, UV protective, so the color won't fade in time. And it really is a beautiful backdrop for all of these great tropical greens and beautiful fabrics that you bought in. The accent fabrics have uh, been intended to create the same space, bring the outdoor indoor. So Bianca, I really love this canopy. I mean, what a great feature in a home. It allows you to stay outside, even through a little bit of rain and a drizzle and appreciate the weather. It's also allowing the, the light to come through. You could be sitting here and look at the sky. You almost it's forget a, it's there. Absolutely. And what I love about it most is that it really protects us from all the outdoor elements. And speaking of someone who knows a lot about protecting our homes, Let's see what our very own Tac Granada from FHIA has for us today. I'm Tac Granada with FHIA and today we're at a home where the family had to change out their windows. Not only did they want to provide better hurricane protection for this hurricane season, but they wanted to make their home more energy efficiency and asked if we could please do something to stop the bugs from coming into the home where the windows weren't sealed properly. So I think we're going to be able to accomplish all that today. Let's take a look at how everything's going. Probably the most common window that we're replacing here in South Florida is the old aluminum jealousy windows. For this homeowner, it was a problem because not only did it not provide them hurricane protection or energy efficiency, but they weren't sealing well at all. They were getting a lot of bugs into the home and they really wanted to change it out. They decided to go with a great product from Custom Window Systems. This is gonna give them the hurricane protection they were looking for. They also chose to order the window with Solar Max Glass technology, which is gonna reflect all the heat away from the home. They're gonna love the decisions that they made. Perfect timing on the installation because this is a really important part of the process and something that we discuss often is when we remove the existing windows from the home, there's really nothing in here to fasten the new windows into. So we talk a lot about installing new wood buck frames and these wood bucks are going to go into this opening right now so that when we install the new frame, it'll go into the wood buck and then into the concrete block. So this will be a real secure opening to keep the family safe during the storm. Another really good installation. Everything went perfectly and the family's going to love the added hurricane protection they're going to have for this hurricane season. They're also going to love how comfortable the home's going to be and it's not going to be such a bad thing to save a lot of money on their utility bills. They'll recognize that right away. And the biggest thing for them when we met them was we got to do something to stop the bugs from coming into the house. Well, we solved that problem by windows that are really sealed properly and they're going to certainly be happy not having those bugs as their guests anymore. So everything turned out perfectly here. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Tat. So Bianca, now we're on the other side of this gorgeous outdoor entertaining area that you've created and the dining table. I love a square dining table. I feel like you really can fit a lot of people and it's still very conversational because you're not too far apart. Now behind us, we have a beautiful outdoor kitchen and you added that it's a perfect entertaining area because it's right next to the dining and of course close to the seated area. We wanted to be able to entertain so having a counter height surface allows you to extend the, the surface area. That's definitely great advice because the counter height really is I feel like one of the top choices that most people are starting to go with this day and it's clad here in a very similar stone that kind of 
matches the decking material as well. So it's almost like a very cohesive look where it just sort of blends in nicely. It's unexpected. Yes, and fun. Coming up next, we see more nature-inspired decor in the master suite and in the baby's room. So this is uh, one of our clients, one of our viewers that found us on Channel 10 and uh, had a roof leak. So she called us because she had some roof stains. And as we say, call us first before you call the insurance company. It's in your policy to, to call us and mitigate. Um, so at the time that we responded to the call, we re did a moisture map and then we realized that there was uh, a significant amount of water coming in from the bedroom due to a, a roof leak. And as you can see, that's why we have a, a shrink wrap, what we call it. It's a, a tight uh, a plastic, almost like when you buy a boat where it comes shrink wrapped and we heat it to fit uh, the, the exact mold of your, of your roof. So that way it stops uh, the water intrusion, which is the, the main thing that you wanna do when you do a remediation. Yeah, so during our inspection, uh, we realized there was a significant amount of uh, water intrusion coming down uh, the wall. And then what we did was we removed the wall I documented it before we removed it so that way we can show the carrier, the insurance company, that you know there was uh, uh, substantial uh, damage to remove the wall, not just opposed to drying it. In this instance, we found more than 10 square feet of mold. So by Florida state law, you have to call a licensed mold assessor to do an assessment and we called air quality assessors. We checked this house out. There was a significant amount of mold in the home. Uh, we were out to do the pretest to do a full evaluation of the home um, and we're able to help out the homeowners and obviously the, you know, the, the not only the occupants, but the workers to set up a full protocol of step-by-step -step procedures, how to safely remove the mold from the home. And then at the end, we present a clearance uh, uh, test for the homeowner to ensure there's no more mold after your work is done. So um, both of us working together on this job to bring this homeowner back to uh, pre-loss condition uh, and per their policy. And just like you want, I'm able to bill directly to the claim, no money out of pocket if you have an open insurance claim, so you can call air quality assessors for that type of service. So if the occupant does show signs or if they have had COVID-19 in the past, we can actually test for that. We can do surface sampling uh, with a, a, as early as one day turnaround time for COVID-19 specifically. So it's absolutely, we're adding a, uh, a full clearance test for COVID-19 as well as the mold for this specific uh, occupant. So what happens here is that now when we're done following the protocol, the homeowners left with, you know, their home remediated. So then what that means is that, you know, all the contamination, all the, all the wet materials are, you know, dried, removed. And now what you're left is with, you know, a, uh, like a shell. And a lot of people are left like that during the process of their claim. You don't have to be like that. You can give us a call. We're a full service company. Okay, and what that means is that we'll help you from A to Z. We'll help you doing the remediation where, where we consult with you and determine where your claim should go so that way to kind of make it a seamless, uh, you know, experience. Remember, it's important to call Ace Restoration Services first before you call your insurance company. Let us manage your damage. So Lena, this is the master bedroom. It is so gorgeous. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're continuing our tour of this beautiful home with interior designer Bianca Boya. Bianca, the master bedroom is definitely consistent with the rest of the design of this home that we've seen so far, bringing such natural, beautiful elements in with a little bit of glitz. On the second level, we find the sleeping quarters, including the baby's room and a gorgeous master suite with many design elements inspired by nature. So Bianca, let's talk about this beautiful seated area. And first thing I want to note is that consistent with bringing the outdoors in, you have a beautiful fiddle leaf fig here and a real one at that. It was uh, really challenging, but yet fun to, to have that taken in and planted. We wanted to have natural elements. We wanted to have a real tree. The client was specific with what kind of tree she wanted to bring in here and fiddle leaf was our choice. So now we've got our greenery, and now I'm seeing consistent with some of the colors we've seen in the great room. You bought in the beautiful tones of purple and maybe some agates and, and amethyst crystals. Tell us a little bit about this gorgeous chandelier here. I had picked the colors from there on our accent for the lavender or the purple and the grays and with the slight green tones in them. 
Absolutely, and I love the way you bought that agate, that natural stone look into these bedside lamps over here because it just kind of brings that natural element and of course the glam and the, the beautiful purple gray tone. Now, speaking of other natural materials, these mirrors, this is a, it looks like a beautiful, like almost a mother pearl. Tell us about exactly what material this is. So this is a Japanese shell and the way it was done was um, inlay. So every single piece was put together like a little puzzle and then the brass inlay as a framework. Now let's talk a little bit about adding the greenery throughout the space because from here I get to see a peek into the master bath and I see a beautiful faux boxwood on that wall. It makes it look like it's already part of the outdoor. You can't really tell whether it's closed no, it's or open. Great, yeah, you feel like almost this open space and like you're in nature. Now, in one of the other rooms in this house, you added a tree, but not of the green kind. In the nursery, we created a, a tree that was made out of a decal. We added lights that had little leaves and uh, crystals. You have some live edge wood shelves. The intention was that the shelves are sitting on the decal of the tree so they become the branches themselves. Adding that painted detail of gold really elevates it to another level. Next, on SoFlo Home Project, we explore one of the greenest rooftops we have ever seen on this show. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we're continuing our home tour with interior designer Bianca Boy. And we are now on the final stop of our tour, this gorgeous rooftop. Bianca, tell us a little bit about this space. The architecture is designed in such a way that I, I had to work with it instead of fighting it. So because of the circular um, design of the rooftop, I had to choose a seating that was circular and, and uh, also create some shading because it could be very hot and sunny up here. And uh, this piece was perfect for the, for the place. It's such a gorgeous piece. It kind of like just envelops you and uh, it's so pretty. And my big question too is, I know this did not fit through the stairway. So no. how did you get this up here? Tell us. <laughs> oh my God, this was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Everything had to be created up through the- All of the furniture. From the street side, wow. above the garage and through the, the second lower part of the rooftop and then the, uh, my movers actually had to lift everything up and bring it over to here. So it was a little bit complicated. It took about a few hours to do that. So this is some well-traveled furniture. Yes. <laughs> so it's not only yes. beautiful, but it's got a lot, of, a lot of travel on it too. I love that up here, you continued the theme of the beautiful palm print pillows and the greenery accents throughout. You want to stay cohesive with the design and many times I, I, I like to say that Repetition is better than trying to create something new and make it completely different. Um, it also adds to the theme and it keeps everything cleaner, neater, rather than bringing in way too many elements and way too many colors. What I love about this space is that it really does connect you to nature. And I know that was the whole point of the design for your clients is sort of to feel kind of connected with the use of a lot of greenery. And it doesn't always have to be real greenery. It could be artificial like this turf that you put in up here. The boxwood and the turf are two materials that are very durable. They're commercial grade. They're meant to withstand temperature and heat and, and rain. Uh, they do not fade, so we have the UV protection. Um, it's such a simple choice when you don't want the maintenance and when you wanted it to feel that you're actually outdoor. The whole thing about artificial turf is it's really gained such popularity in the market and it looks so beautiful. I mean, it really brings that perfect pop of greenery. And not just that, but you know when you have flat rooftops, it's such a simple solution. Another natural element that I would like to mention is the fact that this piece of furniture almost looks like a weaved twig. Absolutely. So again, it makes you look at the nature, that makes you think of the branches of the trees that have been weaved together, so it's another way of looking at it. It does, it absolutely feels like I'm almost in some exotic locale other than our beautiful South Florida, because it's like, it just feels like a great resort with this kind of natural woven piece around us. I like to call this one the cocoon. This project was one of my favorites. It came out better than I expected because uh, at the beginning uh, we didn't envision it to, to sort of progress this way and uh, the client and I sort of built on it as we went so it started taking shape uh, as we designed. 
Bianca, thank you so much for allowing us to tour your clients' beautiful homes, seeing what you've done here and really taking their vision of sort of connecting to nature and all of these elements so beautifully. So thank you. Thank you for having me. And to our viewers at home, we hope you enjoyed today's home tour and all of the great design tips. And we'll see you again next week for another episode of Soplo Home Project, only on Local 10. If you missed any part of this home tour, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoflowHomeProject.com. You can also submit your design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media, on Facebook and Instagram. Next week on Soflow Home Project, we get into the patriotic spirit this 4th of July, the only way we know how by sharing some decor ideas to make your celebration a little more festive.